what does coulomb's law states let me explain what the coulomb's law states good morning students today as i have told you in the previous lecture today we are going to study about coulomb's law so starting of the coulomb's law coulomb's law what does coulomb's law states let me explain what the coulomb's law states coulomb's law states that the force between two charges q1 and q2 having a distance of r can be defined as force between two charges let me suppose this is charge q1 this is charge q2 and we are having a distance of r between them then the force experienced by both the charges the force experienced by both the charges will be equals to k q1 q2 upon r square clear now after that now after that let me this is one of the main formula that you need to remember first thing clear this is the main formula that you need to remember this is the first thing now let us go a little bit further but before going further let's have a comparison between the electrostatic coulomb's law or the newton's laws of gravitation we will compare these two basic laws of forces in the nature and compare them one by one all right so let's compare them one by one let us have here like coulomb's law and here newton's law of gravitation clear clear cut coulomb's law and newton's laws of gravitation why we are comparing it because they are 99% similar they are 99% similar let me explain why and how we know that coulomb's law k is equals to sorry about that coulomb's law let me use some other thing what right. we know that in coulomb's law i have just told you it is k q1 q2 upon r square here clear sir clear and here we have already okay. 
know that this force is equal to minus g m1 m2 upon r square clear so there are so much similarities in between them like here we have q1 we have m1 we have q2 we have m2 we have r square we have r square nothing nothing so much different about them what is different here is this negative sign and there is no sign why is it so we will talk about it clear we will talk about it why is it so we will talk about it let me clear so here you can see in gravitation we already knew that fg is proportional to m1 all right fg is proportional to m2 clear and fg is proportional to 1 by r square so by combining all these we have got something we say f is proportional to m1 m2 upon r square okay similarly here we will say f e is proportional to q1 which means whenever we increase charge q1 the force between the both charges will be also increasing in the similar way if we talk about f e is proportional to q2 it means if we try to increase the q2 charge then also the force between the both charges will be increasing and f e is proportional to 1 by r square okay so exactly similar to the gravitation we have also got f e is proportional to q1 q2 upon r square now by removing this proportionality we have here a constant that we called k and what is the name of this constant this k constant is called as this k constant is called as electrostatic constant clear clear or not clear electrostatic constant now i think you should not have any doubt till now we will be talking deeply in about this k but first of all just clear everything till now okay now let us talk about k what is k and what is the value of k value of k you can define as how much value of k you can define as this is the numerical value of k but what about the unit of k so let's derive the unit f equals to k q1 q2 upon r square clear what is the unit of force it's newton unit of k we will just write it like this otherwise you will be confused what is the unit of q1 q1 is charge q2 is charge what is the unit of charge coulomb coulomb is the unit of charge always remember coulomb is the unit of charge which we indicates by c clear coulomb is the unit of charge which we indicates by c so let me first arrange it by now k is equals to f into r square upon q1 q2 so what will be the unit of k will be unit of force is newton unit of r square unit of r is meter unit of r square is meter square unit of q1 coulomb unit of q2 is also coulomb so coulomb into coulomb will be coulomb square 
क्लियर तो यूनिट ऑफ की इज न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर पर उलम्ब स्क्वायर गेट इट यू कैन कॉपी इट यू कैन कॉपी इट डायरेक्टली हेयर क्लियर ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अनदर थिंग वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अनदर थिंग दैट इज dimension of k dimension of k one also basic thing now let's talk about the dimension we know that the unit of k is unit of k is newton meter square per coulomb square okay unit of k is newton मीटर स्क्वायर पर कुलम्ब स्क्वायर पर कुलम्ब स्क्वायर क्लियर व्हाट अबाउट द डायमेंशन ऑफ के द डायमेंशन ऑफ के विल बी द डायमेंशन ऑफ दिस यूनिट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर यूनिट डिफाइन द डायमेंशन ऑफ एनी क्वांटिटी यूनिट डिफाइन द डायमेंशन ऑफ एनी क्वांटिटी सो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द डायमेंशन ऑफ के dimension of newton newton dimension means the dimension of force is you can remember ml square t minus 2 ml square sorry ml t minus 2 ml square t minus 2 is of work ml t minus 2 mass into acceleration ml t minus 2 so let's write it here ml t minus 2 What is the dimension of meter square? Meter square means length का square, l square. And what will be the dimension of coulomb square? What is the dimension of coulomb? Remember, what is the dimension of coulomb? I have told you in the previous chapter, in the previous lecture. What is it? It's a ampere into time, a into t. Remember it. Current into time. Current into time means charge. So the dimension of coulomb is a into t. What will be the dimension of it? A t ka whole square. Clear? Now by this, by solving it further, we get a unit. The dimension of k as m only m. Yeah. L L to the power one, L to the power two, L to the power three, L to the power three. Now what about t? T to the power minus two here. T to the power two, t to the power minus two, t to the power two. Which means this plus two will also be negative two when we will just take it in the numerator. T to the power minus two, T to the power minus two, T to the power minus four. Okay. Just let me erase it a little bit. Okay. Clear. Another thing, L M T A. What is this? Current A to the power minus two. This is the dimensional formula of constant K. Remember it. so okay clear one more thing i need to do that is to just uh, yeah.
Okay, I think you get it. Now we will be talking about something else. Here, I think you get it. Now we will be talking about something else that is now some of the very basic rules we are having this q1 and we are having this q2 you have told us the formula of force sir yes you have told us the formula of force sir yes now what is the direction of force force is the vector quantity everyone knows what will be the direction of force let me explain let me explain i have already told you whenever q1 q2 will be positive force will be repulsive whenever q1 will be or whenever q1 will be positive and q2 will be negative the force will be attractive why because the opposite charge whenever q1 will be negative q2 will be positive force will be attractive again why opposite charges and whenever the q1 will be negative and q2 will also be negative the forces between them will be repulsive by this by this method let me explain one thing let us suppose we have this positive charge these two positive charges now the force will be along the line joining the two charges this is the line joining the two charges the forces will be along the line along the line means when we extend the line the force will be attracted in the direction of the line like along the line okay so this is the line this is the extension of the line joining the two charges the force will be attract the force will be applied along the line clear clear is that clear second thing is let us suppose this is q1 this is q2 this force will be called as q on 1 due to 2 this force will be called as force on 2 due to 1 clear is that it clear the f and the due to that formula both the forces will be equal in the magnitude both the forces will be equal in the magnitude first thing we have and the first second thing is magnitude may equal first thing was the forces will be at, at along the line second thing is the forces will be equal in magnitude third line f12 if we talk about vectorial form it is our next topic but let us talk about a little bit right here that you can see the direction of f12 is opposite to the direction of f21 f12 f21 f12 f21 so you can say f12 is minus times f to 1 one of the most important and basic thing you can catch it all right one of the most basic thing you can catch clear to everyone i think everyone is clear about it okay you can copy it now let's talk about some of the examples here because examples are very important clear clear now let's talk about some example let us say we can call it illustration 1 the first illustration of your class okay so the first illustration is you can say just q1 okay. 
ओके सो लेट्स सॉल्व इट द फर्स्ट इलेस्ट्रेशन इज लेट अस एज्यूम देयर आर टू चार्जेस ऑफ माइनस सेवन कूलम एंड टू इंटू टेन टू जी पावर माइनस सेवन कूलम क्लियर ओके प्लेस्ड अपार्ट बाय डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू मीटर फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स बिटवीन दम वी हैव टू फाइंड ओनली द मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ द फोर्स नॉट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फोर्स ऑब्वियसली दे विल बी इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन आई थिंक इट्स वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड द फोर्स we have to find the force so it is not much of a problem we know that k q1 q2 upon r square is the formula of force of electrostatics and we also know that or you can say in question you can add the value of k is 9 into 10 to the power 9 okay okay clear Now, by using this formula, we can simply get F is equals to nine into ten to the power nine multiplied by both charges Q one, Q two. These are Q one. This is Q two. Q one, Q two. What is the R? This is R. So by this, you can say this is the solution. clear and in the bottom you can see 2 meter is the distance so 2 square calculate it or let me calculate it 1 into 2 it will be 2 9 so 2 1 of the 2 1 of the 2 will be cancelled okay 10 to the power 9 10 to the power minus 7 10 to the power minus 7 minus 7 minus 7 minus 14 and minus 14 plus 9 Minus fourteen plus nine will be minus five. Clear. So at the end you will get a force of nine into ten to the power minus five upon two, which is equals to four point five into ten to the power minus five newton. You can copy the illustration also, and but my recommendation will be. you just solve this on your own by reading the question clear okay i think you get it okay everything is fine Okay now let us go to the other example which is a little bit a tricky example All right I want to be explaining the question I will just uh, explain the situation to you i will just explain the situation to you let us suppose this is our origin 0 comma 0 clear okay we have the x axis here clear sir we have the x axis here clear okay now let us suppose we have the charges in order of like this we have this q1 charge 
we have this q2 charge we have this q3 charge we have this q4 charge and till we have this q10 charge okay okay clear but how much charges are there in okay so let us talk about the distances let us say this is 10 mm this is also 10 mm this is also 10 mm so every time we are counting the other charge the distance has been increased by 10 mm from the origin clear so what will be this distance 10 10 10 and another 10 it will be like 40 mm okay clear so what about this this is a 10th particle this is a 10th particle this is how much fourth particle fourth particle okay fourth particle clear so what will be this distance this distance will be 100 mm clear clear okay the another thing is asked in the question is you have the charge on every single one of the particle but what will be the magnitude of charge let me explain what will be the magnitude of charge the magnitude on this charge will be how much let us say this first of all let's talk about this one okay this is the tenth charge this charge at origin is consisting of one coulomb now every single charges are like n to the power minus 8 first second one is second one is 8 into 10 to the power minus 8 okay third one is 27 into 10 to the power minus 8 okay another one is another one is 1 2 3 4 4 is like 54 into 10 to the power minus 8 and what about this this will be 1000 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb clear sir how will we solve it you have given the charge to the fourth and what about fifth sixth seventh eighth and ninth here comes observation here comes observation you can see first charge is 1 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 8 What about this? Eight, two to the power three. What about twenty-seven? Three to the power three. This four to the power three. And by this, when you come to tenth, you will get ten to the power three into ten to the power minus eleven coulomb. Clear? I think you are getting it. It is in the form charge on nth particle is in the form. n to the power 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb by observation we can get to this result clear by observation we can get to this result n to the power 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb is that clear now let us talk about the force this was the question and this this was not in the question only this was in the question this data clear that was not in the question you have to observe and form the function of charge with the with respect to the n clear you have to form it by the observation now let's talk about the solution so solution how can we find the force of these cases clear we have this thing this charge this charge this charge we have to find force on this charge we have to find force on this charge by all these charges by all these charges let us talk about first charge first charge will apply how much force k what is q1 1 coulomb what is q2 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb upon upon distance 10 mm 10 mm means 1 cm 1 cm means 10 to the power minus 2 meter 
ऑलवेज रिमेंबर डेट आर इन मीटर क्लियर वी ऑलवेज टेक आर इन मीटर इट इज एम के एस सिस्टम इट इज एम के एस सिस्टम ऑलवेज रिमेंबर इट एम के एस सिस्टम इफ यू विल टॉक अबाउट द सी जी एस सिस्टम वी हैव टू टेक द क्यू इन ई एस यू यूनिट आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर ई एस यू इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक यूनिट दैट इज अ सी जी एस यूनिट एंड देन वी कैन टेक आर इन सेंटीमीटर क्लियर नॉल टॉक अबाउट दिस second particle will exert how much force ah let's about this and the power minus 2 another thing k into 1 into what is this 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 charge will this charge will apply force on this how much charge 8 into 10 to the power minus 8 okay upon this was like minus 2 whole square Whole square into how much? It was two times plus plus. In the same way, we will be having this thousand upon what is this? Clear. These are the square of distances. Two into ten to the power minus two का whole square, like this. Clear? Now we will be going further. Remember the values. Remember the values. K into one into ten to the power minus eight. We are just taking it common. we are taking it common after taking these values common we have left with what we have left with what okay one more thing to take common is 10 to the power minus 4 in the previous slide you can see 10 to the power minus 4 10 to the power minus 4 10 to the power minus 4 we will take this common also what we left with is 8 upon 2 to the power 4 1 upon 2 to the power 0 8 upon 2 to the power 4 and all these things like that clear we will have the here 1 upon 1 because we have just taken whole is common and we have taken everything common except 8 and 2 to the power 4 and in the similar way we have just left 1000 upon 10 to the power 2 in this case we have taken this term as common we will be left with let us say 1 cube upon 1 square actually it was one only one but we are just forming it in this way so that you can understand all right like 1 plus 8 we can say 2 cube upon 2 square plus 27 3 cube upon 3 square Till 10 to the cube upon 10 to square. This is the force. Clear? This is the force that we will get. This is the force that we will get. So now you can just clearly see 2 square 2 cube, 3 square 3 cube, till 10 square 10 cube. We will be just left with. Let's put the value of k here. we will be just left with how much value we will be just left with 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 10 and by solving this by solving this 10 to the power 1 10 to the power 5 will be here clear sir clear very much clear and now we will be having how much force 55 you can calculate it by adding 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 9 10 and or you can just uh, use the formula that summation of n is equals to n into n plus 1 by 2. where n tends to 1 2 sorry about that
where i tends to one two n equals to clear so by this formula you can just calculate the summation of all the ten numbers and by here you can calculate it we will be having a magnitude of that much simple 15 45 5 4 49 49 into 10 to the power 5 this will be our force on this will be our force on how much which charge this charge. here copy it we will be having another thing now all right we are not taking too much of hard questions we are not talking about too much of hard questions let us talk about the vector form of coulomb's law all right let's talk about the vector form of coulomb's law here you have got this now we will be talking about vector form of coulomb's law all right vector form of coulomb's law clear in the vector form of coulomb's law it will be a little bit complicated but by the time passing you will be understand clear we have this one charge q1 here we have this charge q2 here q1 q2 all right okay so this is r1 vector this is r2 vector okay and this is r vector what is this r vector the vector representation of the difference of the these two charges clear i think you made it all right so according to the vector form according to the vector form this is the r vector so let us suppose we have to find this what f on 2 due to 1 f on 2 due to 1 and we have r vector along this we have r vector okay can we say that the r vector and the f to 1 vector is along the same direction is along the same direction clear is along the same direction so by the formula if we need to find the vectorial form of force we can just say k q1 q2 upon what is the r square this will be the r square r square r square you can say this is the magnitude of square or the square of the magnitude of r vector clear you have already studied in the first or second chapter of physics which was vector so by this you can say this is a magnitude of vector but how will we find the vector how will we find the direction direction must be the unit vector along r direction must be unit vector along r and how we find the unit vector how we find the unit vector we have this r so we will be finding the unit vector by just multiplying it by this thing. clear so this is our formula 
of vectorial form of coulomb's law clear i think it's clear if you will go further if you will go further you can write it as this also you can write it as this also q1 q2 upon what will be it it will be r cube it will be better if we say mod of r cube because it's a vector r is a vector and there will be so it will automatically define the direction of force along r clear but what about another form okay this form can also be written as this form can also be written as wait this form can also be written as k q1 q2 upon it was already r square multiplied by r cap r cap is what unit vector along r r is what unit vector along r clear everything is clear i hope you get it everything is clear you can copy it but uh, now we will talk about another okay clone mm, how to paste it okay I don't know what we have to copy, but <laughs> oh, we will we will be drawing the another diagram, but. If we are talking about f on one due to two, but the r vector is in this direction because we have already assumed the r vector in the direction. We have already assumed the direction of r vector, so we won't be changing it to the whole condition. Just remember one very important point that is, if you have already considered the direction of anything. you will have to take this direction until and unless your problem is not being solved clear you don't have to change the direction if you have changed the direction your answer will be totally different clear you don't have to change the direction so let's talk about this thing you have known that r vector is this and f1 to vector is this is r vector on the opposite of the r is the direction of f12 is opposite of r this is clear this is clear okay if this is clear now let's talk about the calculation f12 you have known it K Q one Q two upon R square clear. Now we have to multiply it by R vector upon mod R or minus R vector upon mod R because the direction of force F one two is opposite to that of R. We have to multiply with negative unit vector of R clear. Not the unit vector of R but negative unit vector of r because the direction of force is opposite to that of direction of r clear this will give the direction this will give the direction and it also state that direction is opposite of r vector this also states that 
direction is opposite of R1. Clear? Another thing, let me take it to the next step, or you can say to the another form, as we have done in the, the previous case, just the previous case. You can also write that unit vector as R vector. Let us say minus will be bar upon this vector. How much? Mod R. Which can also be written as F12 is equals to minus K Q1 Q2 upon mod of vector R to Q multiplied by R. Clear? So these are some of the all right so these are some of the vectors form that you need to understand these are all the forms that you need to remember or if you will practice enough they will already be in your mind without even learning them clear these are the three forms i think our time is over but first let's give a try to something else also okay no problem so today it's enough in tomorrow's or in the next lecture whenever it will be we will be having some good questions about the coulomb's law depends upon the coulomb's law and also a little bit of friction involving in them clear in the next chapter we will be starting with the questions of these concepts with a little bit harder question that are also involved in friction clear the friction will be involving in the question so be ready for the next one and uh, thank you very much for listening the for watching our lecture have a good day and bye